if you're a scientist, if you believe material evidence uh, and you ask for material evidence to support every statement you make, uh, that's what science is about. I personally see no conflict between the idea uh, that there, might, there could be an omnipotent creator spirit that created this world and chose to do it uh, by allowing things to evolve in the way that they have. There is the evidence, and if you believe that, that God wanted to go that way, that's fine, and if you don't, that's fine. But the evidence that it went that way is irrefutable. I didn't come out, as it were, on television about the reality of climate change until the evidence was absolutely overwhelming. You can argue about the interpretation of the evidence, sure, but the evidence now, and has been for a decade or so, incontrovertible. I was recently in Borneo, for example, uh, making a film about uh, the evolution of flight. It was just as wonderful as it ever was, you know, with the complex tangle of, of trees and uh, luxuriant tropical forests. Uh, but then after that, I had to travel and travel by helicopter. And you suddenly thought that the, that the forest was half a mile, mile uh, at the most wide, and beyond it, it's stretching as far as I can see were regimented rows of oil palm. It is a desperately sad sight. Uh, but people are inclined to, to sort of then say how terrible the government of Borneo is. Uh, how did they allow this? Well, the answer is that they, uh, oil palm is grown in that quantity because there are a lot of hungry people in the world. If they don't do that, they're going to starve. So what, do you, what is your choice? The, well, the choice actually is, is, is to try and slow down the, the increase in the rate of increase in the human population. Mm -hmm.